Well, let's talk about that family environment, because I know with a lot of this work, uh, outside of the anger and resentment we talked about, but you with family, we might just want to start over and create fresh communication now that we've mm-hmm. recognized this pattern. And maybe in the past, in that situation and, can't, and family conflict, you would just become avoidant and not answer their call or not agree to go to the family trip. But now you want to be a, a bigger part of the family system. How do you make change in that environment where it's now a dynamic that really has been well-worn, probably lasted longer than a lot of our romantic and personal relationships. Yeah. So I think that the first key is really just to start practicing active listening as a family. So this is something that we do a lot of in therapy. We talk about it a lot in therapy, but I feel like it just has so many different applications so we can really listen to understand. Oftentimes when we're talking to other people, even in a social environment, we're like thinking about what we're going to say next. Like you're saying something to me and I'm like, oh, I really want to say this other thing. But then you start missing part of the actual conversation and what they're really trying to communicate. It's kind of about trusting yourself that you know that you're going to come up with the next logical thing to say or the next interesting or helpful thing to say. But that's easier said than done. So active listening has a very easy script. Essentially, somebody else is going to communicate for a little bit. You're going to try to listen and be as attentive as possible when they're done the thing that you're going to say is just trying to recap what they said. And it can be in your own words. You don't have to use their words, right? It's just kind of summarizing and paraphrasing. And then that gives the other person a chance to say, yeah, that's what I was saying. Or, well, actually, you missed this one piece. Or like, no, that was not right, but let me try again. But it's so helpful because then you're not caring with the miscommunication of what you heard and then that fueling what you say next, right? So even just that piece it slows down the communication. It makes sure that it's actually accurate what's being communicated. And then the second step is just affirming something about what you heard. So once the person says, okay, that's pretty much what I said, like that sounds good. The next thing you can say is, okay, so based on what you said, like this was interesting to me, or like I totally resonate with this and understand it, or like even though I don't agree, I can empathize with how you're feeling, right? It's not really about, oh, now we all agree with each other, but it's just about, is there something that you can acknowledge in what they said that like resonates with you, that you have more questions about, that like makes sense? Like that's all we're asking. We're not saying you have to agree on everything, but that is just a huge key to like start breaking down any old patterns that aren't working in your family system and starting to communicate in a better way that makes everybody feel heard. 